Hey guys, it's Mickey. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with a very special guest. I'm here with Benji and we're all the way in Singapore. Hi guys, my name is Benji. I'm a makeup artist for about 13 years now. So I looked at some of your recent work and just in the last month, he has worked with clients and brands such as YSL, Armani, Givenchy, MCM, Calvin Klein, the list goes on and on and on. And Benji is also very good friends with many of my dear friends in Singapore. So he was so kind to allow me into his space and um, today we're gonna be doing a everyday makeup look that's a bit more elevated I would say I am a makeup novice so I'm actually quite excited to see how she does her makeup <laughs> Benji's gonna be shocked do not be shy tell me everything I'm doing wrong okay I'm gonna hand you a notepad and pen to oh. write down all of the things I'm doing wrong if I don't if I'm not vocal don't worry my notepad will be very vocal oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 great. So I have the full spread of all of the products I use on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give a little initial reaction? One thing I look over here, mm -hmm. classic girl. She's all about corals. <laughs> I did my color analysis and they told me to do all corals. All corals. Well. I'm very interested in how I'm going to use the same switch of coral on different part of face to get a different dimension. I don't have dimension. <laughs> no dimension. <laughs> Okay, first thing I'm going in with is the Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint. Honestly, I'm not even sure this is my correct shade. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's writing already. He's already writing. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go with my beauty blender that who knows how old this is. It's been a long time. I also don't wet my beauty sponge. I know I'm supposed uh, to, but... It's actually okay not to wet. Really? Yeah, but depending on the texture. You I'll heard it from it. him, not from me. <laughs> So I just take a tissue and then I just go through and I blot it. Ah. So I make sure that there isn't anything too crazy looking. Mm. And you'll kind of see like, there's a decent layer of stuff on there. So then we do concealer. This okay. is probably my favorite step. We are going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Mm. I don't really do my under eyes. I don't really have eye bags that much. <laughs> Benji's like, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. I do find that my spots are usually darker, so I try to go one shade lighter if I can on my concealer. Mm -hmm. And then it never fully covers it, so then I just go in again. This one is the Ilia Beauty True Skin Serum Concealer. But why would you choose two different concealer? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> There's no technique to it, no. I actually don't know what kind of brush to use for bronzer. I don't know what the rules are. And I'm gonna use the Hula Bronzer. I also realize this is your favorite bronzer, by the way. Yes, this, Hula, is, the, right? this is my only the bronzer. Only bronzer. Okay. Yeah, I like to put it a bit higher than I think most people like to do it. Almost just like hugging my cheekbone. Because I kind of have big cheekbones. Will you be blending your concealer? Yeah, after okay. this. After I usually, this, yeah. okay, interesting. Yeah, I, that's, I'm showing you the real way I do it. I, I would love to understand why do you do it that way. That's, that's why I'm interested in. Because I feel like it like... Absorbs. Absorb it. Okay. Maybe. Recently, I've been layering my blushes, so mm -hmm. I do um, the Rare Beauty blush. This is in the That's shade Happy. And because I have very high cheekbones, I think so. The way Americans do it, we like to go like all the way up here, mm -hmm. like with your bronzer. But I feel it looks very bad on me, so I actually go a bit under underneath my eye a bit, and then I'll usually go in with a powder on top. This is Ginger Pot from Clinique. I have to say that the two colors that she used, I use it on most of my clients too. <gasps> and it's the exact same shape, exact same product. <laughs> this is exactly the products that people recommended to me in Korea mm. from the color analysis. So I just copied what they bought. I normally use a brush for this, but I did not bring it. So I'm just gonna use my fingers. And it's not out of the ordinary for me to use my fingers, so truly, like, I feel like when I do my blush, it looks like I'm a bit drunk, the way mm. that I do it. I don't know how to fix that, but I look a bit drunk. Okay, we're going in with powder, and I actually just recently learned that powder is supposed to be after your cream products. Correct. But I'm gonna show you, this is where I normally do it. <laughs> okay. After my everything, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm like a bit oily here, right? So I'll do a bit here, and then just kind of, my cheeks are also very oily, mm -hmm. so I just go down this way. Is it doing anything? I don't know but it makes we me feel better. See later. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do my lips next. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Mm -hmm. It's been very loved, very tiny. 
probably can't even see it. <laughs> my top lid is much lighter than my bottom lid, but this is the color that kind of matches my bottom mm. lid. Great tanning, wow. That's the first compliment he's told me this entire time. I will usually go in with a more matte product. Mm. This is the Etude House Analog Rose Fixing Tint. Is she gonna do eyes makeup? My order is, my order is completely different, yeah. right? She's on lips already. Yeah. <laughs> So I always do my eye makeup last because it's my least favorite makeup to do. Oh. So I leave it for the end. This is one of my die hard palettes that I use from Romand. It's the number eight. How much you do your eyes? My fingers. <laughs> Ready? I usually just put like a base color to add a bit of dimension to my eyes. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put like a very neutral, that's honestly all I do. Like if I'm going to an event or something, mm -hmm. I'll put a bit more glitter or something, but okay. normally I just do this. Um, and then for my under eyes, I honestly don't know what to do, but I just mm -hmm. feel like I need a bit of like contour. Like, so I'll just usually put a bit of darker oh. shadow below as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, I should probably like brighten my corners or something. Mm -hmm. So then I'll usually take this fat, thick Etude House Bling Bling. Oh. I've had this for maybe six years now. Wow. Yeah. It's older than some of my... Um... I need to share something with you guys later. Yeah. Six years. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a reason why you use this for six years? No. <laughs> no, no reason. Have, no just reason. I, yeah. Yeah. haven't okay. found a better one, so I'm like, okay, I'll just continue to use this. So my eyebrows are very dark. And my hair is darker now, but mm. it's usually quite a bit lighter. So I will usually press some powder into my brows to... Mm -hmm. To fill it up? To, yeah, and just soften them because I feel I look quite a bit mean with like dark, dark brows. Mm -hmm. I have microbladed brows, but I will just like, my tails are a bit more sparse. Oh, and then I'll realize usually at this point that I forgot to do something and then I'll go back in. Highlighter, I often don't use because I feel it doesn't look flattering on me. My nose also is very textured because mm -hmm. I have a lot of blackheads. So I feel like it makes it look worse. So this is the finished look. It mm -hmm. normally takes me on the fast end three minutes, and when I take a bit more time, ten minutes. Even my makeup is longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Benji in session. He's gonna give me. <clears throat> yep, all the notes are in here. Just to clarify and to share with too. Did you use SPF just now? I I did it in the morning. Oh, so you normally... did this, did this in the morning. Yeah, I did it. In the so morning. you she uses this primer, which is a good primer, but this is a primer that I always recommend for you. Yeah, but if you're gonna use it to press your tissue away, you are actually not using the primer the correct way. You get what I mean? Basically, you're removing the moisture on the skin or the dewiness of the effect that you're getting from this particular hour skin view. Okay, girl. I come to eyeshadow now. I forgot to do my eyeliner. That's why I thought so too. I was like, I was like, okay, she's gonna do a look without eyeliner. Oh, I want to say one more thing. If a makeup is lasting you for six years, please throw it away. <laughs> you can see six years is how much she left here, so much left. And mm. I don't think she uses it every single day. She's no. not she's not possible able to finish even for another six more years. Yeah. I don't think she's gonna finish this. I'll idea. be dead before this. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna remove her makeup okay. and then uh, I'm gonna show you how I apply certain things differently from her. I can't and then wait. You can get to do it. Okay. I'll get the remover first. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you some of the questions that people sent in, and these are all the questions that at least over 10 people asked so they were Whoa. very curious about these questions so number one how do you know if you're a warm toned or a cool toned most asian people are preferably warm toned so mm -hmm. even though a lot of people like to use this warm tone you can check from your vein and stuff but mainly asia mm -hmm. uh, in singapore uh, or your country that's very sunny you're basically more warm toned mm -hmm. than the cool tone colors if your cool tone means you fit colors that's gray and light pink mm -hmm. but if let's say anything that's on you is dusty Basically, you are just one poke. Oh, the sponge feels so soft. The next thing I will say with you is I will do the blusher and the contouring first to cut off stuff that you actually need to do, okay? So I will roughly just get the shade that I want to lesser. Same thing, temper a little bit here, cheek here, and you want all the way down, just down here, down here to get under eyes first, okay? And then I will somehow get in the nose also. Yes, I think it's cute. Yes. Yeah. Next thing I go to is to blend out throughout with a foundation or anything that uh, mm. a primer you can do. So, so usually for you, like you say that you do have under eyes, <laughs> eye bag. I don't think that is true. <laughs> it's, still as well eye bag. it's just that uh, I will consider that as very minimum. The other very common question was how do you prevent under eye concealer from creasing? Okay. 
So usually a lot of people ask that, right? But one thing is that they have to understand their eyes wrinkle first. Are you someone that is very wrinkly? If you are someone that's very wrinkly, the lesser the product, the better. Mm -hmm. Like using brushes, our brush to apply uh, concealer and stuff, right? Is lesser product, so you don't really get too much of a cake up. That is the overall that you have ready, right? So I will make sure after from here, do I still have any? Cream products. This is something to make sure. If you have no more cream product, this is when you powder up and then you top up with all the other powder mm, products. Then now I'll go with my powder product. For you today, I'll be doing the product one. And I will not be magnifying the whole face. Mm. I'll just gently tap on your T so Just how you make a brush more dense. Mm. The reason I'm dabbing is because I already have a base over there. And you can see it's very natural. At the same time, you don't feel like you have a lot of uh, product that's going up and down. And Save time, just dabbing only. Next, I will go for blusher. I get a smaller one. A good thing about this smaller one is you can be more precise. Just to top up, same thing over my hand, just to make sure that it's not too much. And she goes. She has a nice blush up. Wow. Okay, the under eyes look. Obviously, you have this over here, which is the uh, highlighter. A good thing about this highlighter is that you can use it after. I feel it's better. Mm. Like really, like if you get a dew. Dewy effect, non powder, this will be a good highlighter. Today I'll be using the Natasha Denona one because it gives a more champagne color. Ooh. So these are the colors that you can go under your eyes, beneath your eyes, cheekbone, and areas. So just how you use the particular, the white color, right? This is what I mean by champagne color. You can replace by this color. The difference in color is, can you tell the difference? Yes. The champagne color as compared to the white color. White. Yeah. Right. So a champagne color gets your eyes brightened up at the same time it doesn't feel like too much mm. for a daily look. You can oh, view from wow. the other side. Big difference, right? I don't know if you guys can <laughs> see that shimmer like when I turn. Yeah. And then next I'll go to is your eye makeup. So the good thing about eyes right that she used right is actually this color, which I think is okay to use hand too. But uh, for me over here I'll be showing you how to just using one color to blend throughout your whole eyes. Mm. And a good brush will be something like that. Either this or this. Mm. Okay, oh, we call it a paper more. brush. Like, yeah. So this is the overall layer you have. Okay. Mm. I use two colors. One is the, this as a base and a darker color just to blend overall to get a darker color mm. over here. And then from here, right, I will get the shining part from here for your inner corner. Mm and also your under eye. I realized that you are using this as a, a liquid liner from Huronic, right? Yes. Okay. I'll show you how to combine this and also the eyes, eyeliner look, okay? Okay. So for eyeliner, a lot of people keep thinking it's very hard to get a perfect shape, right? The easiest way to get a perfect shape is to use a powder, mm. okay? And I always use brush like this. Angled brush. A good thing in powder is it's so blendable, even if you do mistake, right? You can use a fingernail, mm -hmm. right? Slightly just press and go. You will get wow. a very sharp line from there. My eyeliner usually takes me 30 minutes because I do my left side and then my right side is mm -hmm. slightly so, different. I, that's why I say it's good. Uh, same thing, look straight. Uh. Always look straight when you do your liner because mm. you can get the particular line that you want. How do you know where to angle your wing? Okay, a good tip to angle your wing, right, is to use your underline to match. Okay, uh, depending what kind of look I'm going for today because I think your look is also towards the more Asian American look is not really the Korean that you have the up puppy eyes here. Mm. You know, if you have the Korean eyes, basically you draw downwards. But since you have the slightly the Asian American look, so I would like to go for is to get good angle. You see this line that's going up, right? Yes. Okay. Slowly use this angle brush. Slowly when you touch us here, right? You just slowly press up here. Uh -huh. This is where you get your line here. And if any place that you have line that you did really right, it's good reference up. Huh? Mm. Because from here you can use a cotton bar. Same thing from line over here. I will swipe away. Mm. This is where you get your base. We will use the liquid to intensify it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the best part of your liquid liner, please do not feel the whole eyes. The liquid liner is just to intensify the center part of it. It's not to intensify the ends. Last step, I'll use the powder to swipe it up. What okay. is the correct sequence for somebody doing their eyes? Do you curl your lashes before you do all this or after? Okay, a good question because I can't curl your lashes today, so I can't really share right. that. But I will share with you. Usually, I would like to eyeshadow all the powder liner that ready i curl my lashes after i curl my lashes ready this is when i go into my liquid or i go into my gel pencil so never do gel pencil before curling so i will usually curl ready once i curl ready i'll use my gel pencil to do inner liner like you look straight right because your lashes is the pointing downwards up here right you generally created a fake line mm. yeah but if let's say today you have no 
eyelash extensions. Eyelash, eyelash extension. Basically, you have very bare face. That you have a little waterline that you can see. Yes, uh, this is yes. when I will use the gel pencil. Favorite, favorite love. All the powder should be done before you curl your lashes. Yeah, all the powder, oh. all powder. Then the last powder touch is basically just to uh, 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 swipe up uh, whatever you want to enhance, like sharper here, stuff like that. And a good powder, something like this. Not black. Softer. A uh, softer look on My you. eyeliner is also brown. Also brown, right? Yeah. And then depending if let's say you have more time, you want to enhance your look even more, what I do is the inner corner, I'll use a brown one, just to lightly swipe here. So you get a slightly more defined eyes, but not too much. Okay? More <gasps> defined wow. eyes, but not too much. The next thing you can go is brown. I'll do a light filling on the edges that I want to. After filling the bag already, what I like to do is I will get a Brown mascara first, okay? Can you tell the difference? Yes. It looks softer, it's right? It's completely yeah. brown, yeah. So, so it looks softer, it matches the hair that you have over here, depending on how, how light your color is. Mm. After that, I always like to go for a brown gel, okay? To get the fluffiness of the brown. You can see the difference? Wow. Yeah, a bushier brown as compared to this one, it's yes. just only flat and sad. Only. Yeah. <laughs> well, before leads, I totally forgot one thing. I shared with her just now, I didn't do it right. Nose contouring. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I always like to go for two brushes for myself. Mm. The big one is to blend out. I'll get colors that is mixed on the center. Mm. Okay. A lot of people always have a mistake. I share with you. Huh? They like to do contouring right. Just do one line here. It's not saying not good, but it's just gonna look a little bit more fake that you draw on. Mm. A good way to do it is to do it in different motion. First part is this part. These two motion that you're doing here. Next two motion, same color. I'll go for the tip of the nose only, and then a W of the nose. Oh my god, my nose looks way sharper. <laughs> and lastly, I will top up with a, a slight little brush like that. It can be a fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush is fine. With the highlighter that I just used on you. Just here. Here. A bit here. And top up a little bit at the bottom here. <gasps> oh, I have a little button nose. <laughs> yeah, lastly, it will be your lips. I will use whatever uh, remaining foundation that I actually have just now, just to lightly cover it. After that, I'm done with that, right? Go in with this color that you have here. We do the bottom first, okay? The bottom, we will color over here at the cupid bow. But at the cupid bow, we do higher than cupid bow. Mm. Slightly higher. Next, we'll get this over here. When you're blending out, you can just remember to blend with together with the lip liner. This way, when doing your lips right, you will look a little bit more, uh, I'll say 3D at the mm. same time. It looks like you have no lipstick on, oh. but at the same time, the color is still there. Mm. Lastly, just build up a little bit more on the center of the lips by dabbing motion. Very Lastly, you have this directly over here. What I like to do is just at the center of the tips here. It's not too much of a gloss that you're having over here, okay? Lightly blend out if you need to. Wow, I'm gonna look so amazing for the rest you can of tell the day. Not. Yeah, this is what I mean by when people look at you, you still have very good skin. You don't feel like your skin is too much and stuff like that. Yeah, it doesn't look cakey. Yeah. Thank you, Benji. Yeah, okay. I'll be sure to link all of his socials. Make sure you go follow him down below. And if you're in Singapore or even not in Singapore, you can book him. Yeah. He's available for booking and I don't think there's anyone better than him. Definitely have to check him out. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye.